Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, this is Magwai the Akioge. Welcome to the West Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about using the market in the West. But before we begin, please click subscribe to never miss anything from the West. Being able to trade merchandise is essential to gameplay in the West because there are certain items players need that they can only get trading with other players. The market allows for trading between players whether they are members of your town, alliance, or outside your alliance. To use the market, click on the market in a town and you will first see items that are ending soon. This means that the item is about to be taken off the market because it wasn't purchased within the allotted time. These items can be great deals if a low bid was placed on them, so check often to see what's available. When you are buying, type the item in the search to see if it's available. You can bid on it if there is a bid price, buy it if there is an immediate sale price, or watch the item to see how people are bidding on it. When you bid on an item and get the highest bid, you have to wait until the timer runs down to get the item. Any other player can also bid on items and might outbid you. When this happens, you will receive a notification that you were outbid and you will get money back into your account. Sometimes the money is placed in cash rather than the bank, which means it isn't safe if you are dueled or knocked out during work or a fort fight. When you are outbid, the item will be placed on your watch list where you can either enter a higher bid or just watch it to see what happens. Once you buy an item, you must travel to the town it was sold in to pick it up. Open the market, click on current bid, and then click on distance to town. When the town opens up, click on the signpost to travel there. Once you arrive at the town, open up the market, click the pick up button, and the item will be added to your inventory. Picking up money from a sold item is the same as picking up an item you purchased. Click on the town with the money, travel to it, and then pick up the money to deposit in the bank. Some quests require selling or purchasing items from the market. To complete the task, you must complete the transaction by collecting the purchased item, or by collecting money from the market for the sold item. To buy items, you do not have to be located in a town, but you must be located in a town to sell items. Anything you put up for sale will be charged fees. The fees will be higher if you aren't in your own town or if the market is not at level 10. When you want to sell items, open up the market, which will open up your inventory. Click on the item you want to sell. You will see options for minimum bid, immediate purchase price, the amount of items in the single auction, the number of auctions you want to have, how long you want the item to be listed, and who can buy the item. Minimum bid is the lowest amount you are willing to take for an item. There is also a minimum price you can charge based on game dynamics. To see this price, hover over the item you want to sell and you will see prices. The price on the right is the lowest price you can charge. Placing an item solely for bid will keep that item on the market until the time runs out. The highest bidder will then get the item. Once someone has bid on your item, it cannot be removed by you from the market. The immediate price is what someone can pay to get the item immediately. Again, there is a lowest price for this which can be found on the item on the right side of its description. If you place an item for immediate sale, you are able to remove the item if no one purchases it. This is helpful if you placed an item and indicated an incorrect price. You will notice your fees go up based on how much you are charging for the item. The way to get the fees to go down is to also include a bid price, but if you do this, there is a possibility that it will go for the low bid price rather than the amount you want for the item. When selling items, you have the option to put up multiple items in the same auction or multiple auctions of the same item type. If you accidentally put something up incorrectly, you can take it down immediately, but will not receive any of the fees you paid when you put it up. The auction length can be any time between one and seven days. If the item doesn't sell within that time frame, you can pick it up and it will appear in your inventory. You are able to sell on the world, alliance, or town market. Any player can see the world market, but only members of the alliance can see the alliance market, and only your townies can see the town market. Placing items in your town or alliance market when selling to someone in your town or alliance is preferable, if the trade is very specific, such as receiving materials for crafting. If you are unable to sell on the town or alliance market, make sure that the person you are trading with is online. Send them a whisper before placing anything on the market. You also have the option to place a notice for auction such as who you are selling it to. This notice will appear as a yellow exclamation point and when you hover over it, you will see the notice. Look for this when buying items so that you don't accidentally buy something that was meant for someone else. If you aren't sure what to charge for an item, you can ask other players or see if similar items are for sale. This will help you decide how to price something. 
Using the market in the West is essential for gameplay. Trading is fun and you can acquire items you might not be able to get on your own. I hope you liked this video on using the market in the West. Until next time, keep enjoying the West!